good fight fans this is D and I'm back with another video for the standing eight count fighting channel it was recently reported that a November 4th 2017 fight between Deontay Wilder and Luis Ortiz may be coming close to being finalized um, this will be I guess you could say the unification bout because Luis Ortiz currently has the regular WBA title and Deontay Wilder has the WBC title ultimately what that means is that remains to burn did in fact take a step aside money to let these two fight it out. Uh, and I think what's going to happen with Remains to Burn is not only is he going to get step aside money, he's also going to have the opportunity to fight against Dominique Brazil. And chances are the winner of that fight will get a chance to fight the winner between Wilder and Ortiz. Both matchups should be pretty good. I think Dominique Brazil is only once defeated, and that came by knockout from Anthony Joshua. Remains to Burn has two losses again. He lost his WBC title to Deontay Wilder about two years ago so since that time I think he had one fight in between where he won the unanimous decision and ever since that particular victory um, he was supposed to fight um, for the number one uh, the number one spot to then fight, face Deontay Wilder um, but that fight fell through due to of course the steroid um, the positive steroid test from his opponent whose name I can't remember right now but that's what happened there so I think the WBC what they did was elevate him to number one why he was so, you know, strongly trying to get the fight between Deontay Wilder to, I guess, essentially redeem himself. But to be honest, someone was really interested in that fight. So when Luis Ortiz became, you know, a, a high, top priority to fight Wilder, they were really pushing for that. And that's something that, you know, HBO or Showtime would really want to televise. So for me, to burn. He's a quality fighter. I don't think he did enough to warrant another title shot, especially when he didn't look that great in his last fight. So, I'm happy that he decided to take his upside money and not go forward with the loss which he's proposing. Um, Dominic Brazil, he should pose a, a significant threat to remain. I mean, to me, I would have been, I've never been impressed by Brazil in the fights I've seen him in, but I believe he's an Olympian. And he's, I mean, he's a big guy, he's pretty solid, but remain should defeat him. I'm gonna assume maybe by like 9 to 10 rounds in KO. Um, similar to the way he stopped Chris Ariola. Um, the fight between Deontay Wilder and Luis Ortiz, that should be a great fight. As we both know, Deontay Wilder, the WBC champion, uh, undefeated. Um, Luis Ortiz also undefeated. Great Cuban boxer, great style, great footwork. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'm not going to put a prediction on that fight once it gets fully, fully finalized. Maybe I'll do it then, but as it stands right now, I don't really have a, a you know, a solidified pick as the winner of that fight. So in a future video, I'll probably break it down in my opinion as to who will win and maybe what round and how the victory will happen. So be on the lookout for that video. Again, November 4th is the set date or is the proposed date for the heavyweight title fight between Ortiz and Wilder. So you guys let me know what you think. If you heard anything different from what I heard, so leave it in the comments below. Please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe to the Standing Eight Fighting channel. You guys have a great week. Oh! <laughs>